Today we're gonna find the best bansei on Ho Chi Minh City. Close your eyes. Listen to the famous Vietnamese sizzling crepe. The modern classic inspired by many cultures a long time ago. This is a completely crazy idea to try to find the best because there are so many different kinds. Today we're gonna narrow it down a little bit and just focus on ban sale, mi and thai, which is the southern style. They're much bigger, they're much more common in Saigon to find. So that's what we're gonna be looking for. Oh, by the way, my name is Chad Kubinoff and I'm a chef living in Saigon. I've been here for a while so I know a little bit. I'll show you. So this first pot was made famous by somebody special you probably have heard of. The location is called Ban Seo, 46A. Let's go. A comforting sizzle. The pouring of batter. The smell of good things wafts from the kitchen out into the street. A smoky invitation. It's been 15 years since that shot was made. Let's go see if it's still as good as it was, or at least it looked on camera. How do I feel about this? I think it's pretty amazing. They have 12 burners going and they're cooking over wood fire, so I'm pretty pumped. It looks really, really enticing. Indeed it is. So simple, so delicate. Everything you ask for. Peeled shrimp, fatty pork belly sizzling in the hot pan, the creamy batter with the coconut milk, topped with mung beans, onions, and bean sprouts. Put the lid on and move on to the next one. While we're waiting for our bun to cook, let's go investigate that noise. I love that about Vietnam. You can always look right in the construction site, you see what's going on. It's kind of a romantic eating experience. It's just a little bit of jackhammer in the morning's good. You'll see tons of foreigners here, Koreans, Americans, and locals as well. It's not a tourist trap, it legit is good food, so don't worry. This is deep in an alleyway, not a tiny alleyway, but a big alleyway, and right in District 1, so it's pretty easy to find if you're staying in the area. But these ladies are awesome. I'm very impressed with their technique. She always pokes a hole in the middle of the bun cell so it doesn't bubble up. You get smoke in your eye. Uh, so I'm gonna try that next time. And then you can see, we're not the only people filming here. Sincha. <laughs> Our bun sale is beautifully golden brown now. Time to fold it in half, pour out the excess oil, and it's ready to be served. Crispy on the outside, soft and creamy on the inside. Let's try the version that the legend Anthony Bourdain recommended to us. I have to tell you I'm very excited, one, because this looks fantastic, and two, because Mr. Tang is excited because the light looks wonderful, he says, so everybody's happy. All right, this looks great. Let's put some chili in the fish sauce. I love that they are cooking over fire. It is incredible, really exciting, and they have 12 burners going at one time. Those two women have obviously cooked a lot of bensao in their life. Let's see the inside. Whoa, it's so crispy. Wow, so much inside. I can tell you, it's so thick. Really thick, really heavy, it has a lot of weight to it. It's crispy, not supremely crispy, but it's thick. It's got a lot of body to it, way more than I've had with other ones. I love that they have onion inside, that's really cool. I ordered it with the egg, extra shrimp, and extra pork, because that's the special, so we'll get it. And the shrimp here are peeled, which I know some people will appreciate, and some people maybe don't appreciate, but here they're peeled. Let's wrap it. The vegetable seems fairly standard, mustard leaf, lettuce, and a few herbs, shiso, Thai basil. Just the normal stuff, not the jungle variety, which is what I prefer. Oh no, not a good one. All right, try it. Mm. So obviously this is good, right? You don't need me to tell you that, but it is really good too. It's really thick. It's a little bland without the sauce, of course but with the sauce it gets fully seasoned. So this place doesn't give you rice paper. Some places will, some people don't. This one doesn't. Mm. Usually most of these recipes will include rice flour and wheat flour. I feel like this place probably uses a lot of wheat flour. It has a texture more similar to like a pancake. Although it's crispy on the outside, but the, the interior, the fluffiness is like pancake kind of flavor. Definitely unique in its texture and its overall girth to it. It's just a beast of a bun sale. This is one that you do not need more than one. One will fill you up here. 
So it's actually kind of funny. When I lived here before, this was the first fence sale that I ever tried. I think my wife took me here for like our second date. So that was like 10 years ago. This is the second time in back. Still darn good. I think Bourdain sat right at that table. Although that table was taken. So we, we can settle for this one. It'll work. Maybe next time. You have to come here. So when you go back, you can tell all your friends to come here and, uh, and try this. I'm doing that now. <laughs> The chili's creeping up on me. I can say I appreciate the peeled shrimp. I feel luxurious to me now to have peeled shrimp. I gotta be careful, I can't eat more than this. Let's go try something else. So now we are in District 5 at a place called Ban Seo Ngop Sun. This is definitely the most popular spot in District 5. It's got a ton of reviews. Little secret, I've been here before. I know it's great already, but let's try it. Oh, and it's Kumkal Chi Nyan, which means it's the only one. So there's no other location. So if you want to try this spot, this is where you have to come. Let's try it. All right, so this bun sale looks gigantic. Highly appetizing. Let's try it. Let's see what kind of vegetable they got. So they got lettuce, they got mustard leaf, they got shiso, Thai basil, and of course, the wonderful fish herb, which I hate. Smell like raw fish. Yeah, you're right. Wacky. <laughs> All right, let's take a peek on the inside. Ooh. Inside, there's whole shrimp, sliced pork, bean sprout, mung bean, and this place does it with egg, too, which is not typical. I don't see that often. Everything's right in the center. Not great distribution. Maybe I'll help it a little bit. I'll help spread it. Maybe I should just try a little bit plain first. And very thin. It's crispy on the edges. It's very thin. Not much flavor by itself, but with the fish sauce, it's great. Let's try to wrap and get a real bite. So I'll take some lettuce. The mustard leaf is big. I'll just rip that in half. And we'll build our little wrap up. Now we'll get a real bite of this thing. Let's see. This is excellent. It's a little bit creamy. Give me a minute. Let me enjoy this first bite. It's very, very good. It's soft. It's creamy. The pork is excellent. The pork is uh, tender, but a little chewy. Wow. Mm. This really is one of the best in the city. It's been sitting a little bit because we've been shooting all this B-roll, so the center is not as crispy as it once was, but it's still super delicious. The outside edge is so delicate and thin. It's like, um... How do I describe that? It reminds me of something I can't place it yet, but it's just so delicate. All right, I need more. I really love this spot. And I like the egg inside, too. The egg inside just gives it like a little bit more creaminess, gives it another layer of flavor. So this one's a little bit bigger than the first spot. It has a little bit less meat. Well, the fish sauce here is great. I love the fish sauce. But we'll see how the third one compares to that. This restaurant is definitely the most famous for bun sale, but they have a lot of things as well. So we got a few other things to try. Let's do that next. So just like the first spot, they sell bang pong here as well. Usually they'll use the same batter. This doesn't look southern style to me. This looks like Bumtao style, the beach town, because it's white. But we'll see. Let's try one. Eat this the same way as bun sale. Just roll it up. Hmm. This is definitely more Bum Tao style. It's not like Southern Mean Thai style because it's not creamy. It doesn't have the coconut milk in it. It's good, but when I come back, I'll definitely get the Ban Seo. I think that's exceptional. This is good. Let's try something else. So this one is Ban Kong. I don't know what Kong means. I have no idea. But basically, this is like a big meat and shrimp and mung bean cupcake that's deep fried. It's cooked in like a cupcake shaped ladle. The whole thing is deep fried. Typically, you would wrap this up again, but I don't need to wrap anymore. I'm done wrapping for now. Let's just try it. It's not bad, that's pretty good actually. These are always very dense and very heavy. So it has like a batter, it has like a rice batter with the mung bean, the shrimp, and minced pork. It's really thick, it's really heavy, and usually I just think it's okay. This one is probably the best I've had. Okay, I kinda like it more. When I come back, I'll get a bun sale, and I'll probably get one of these too, I like it. Next, I was so excited. Anytime you sell a spring roll by the piece, I'm gonna get one. Most places sell by the plate, so that's a little hard to convince me to order, but by the piece, yeah, I'm gonna try it. So this is their spring roll. Looks like a rice paper wrapper, probably ground pork. I don't think there's any shrimp inside, just ground pork. It has nice pork flavor, it's simple, it's delicate, pretty damn good. And this is like 50 cents for a spring roll, so that's worth it. Next. So this is bee kun. Bee is pork skin, kun is roll or wrap. So this is a wrapped pork skin roll. Pretty much similar to a goi kun or a summer roll, but this one has skin inside instead of shrimp and pork. Let's try it. Mmm, there's garlic in it too. 
are good. It took me a while to appreciate shredded pork skin, but once I became familiar with the texture, now I love it so much. It's so good. The flavor is great, the texture is great, and also has toasted rice powder in it as well. So I like this one. Someone. So Monkey Man 1345S. I love your content, mate. I just started watching and it's been amazing. I have a question. What's it like being so far away from home? And do you get homesick from being so far away? Please answer these. Okay, Monkey Man, I got you. Uh, what's it like being so far away from home? At times it's super exciting. At times it's very scary because you have no support system. I've been here a while, so I kind of developed a support, but in the beginning it's been very challenging, especially not having the language skills, so you definitely can feel very lonely at times. But it's also very exciting as well. Do I feel homesick sometimes? Sometimes I might miss a certain food, or especially during the holidays, uh, especially during Christmas. Christmas is very difficult over here for me. It's not cold, it doesn't feel right to me for Christmas, and I definitely think about my family a lot during that time. Beyond that, not so much. Especially when things are going well, I tend not to think about what could be or what I'm missing. And things have been going well lately, so not really too much homesickness I'm dealing with at this point. But uh, it definitely is more of a challenge in the beginning. So, let's keep eating. Okay, so, a little bit of change of plans. District 3 location was closed, so we had to go to another very popular spot in the city, and that is this place called Bun Seo Zao Zung Fo Tan. Fo Tan. This spot is pretty cool that we're right across from a big temple. It's a nice seating area. Zao Zung or Rao Rung is jungle vegetable, so this place serves a lot more herbs than the other places will. Let's try it. We can't show when they make it. That's okay. So this place is interesting. Normally, Mr. Tang would be all up in there getting tons of B-roll. But this place said we're not allowed to film the cooking station because there's a secret method or a secret pattern, I don't understand, of how they cook it. So we're not allowed to show you how they cook it, but we will show you what it looks like and how to eat it. This place is starting out strong. It looks super crispy, super beautiful. Let's check the inside out. Very, whoa, there's hen inside. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, so this one has hearts of palm, or the heart of the coconut tree, and it also has hen. It has baby clam inside, I didn't know that. Wow, what an unexpected surprise. I think there's mushroom too. Wow, it's super crispy. Definitely the crispiest so far. And the vegetable is really interesting too. So not only do we have all the normal vegetables we saw at the other locations, we also have the jungle vegetable, or the wild vegetable. There's this thing. I don't know what it is. And then there's this thing, sassy leaf, I think. This is the one they make like kind of like a root beer. And we got this one as well. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what it is. It's a little bit bitter, but I like it. And this place also comes with rice paper too, so you can wrap it up if you like that. Then we got some chili. Let's season our fish sauce. I can't lie to you. I've been here before. I know it's good, but it's been a while. And I don't remember with the baby clam, so I'm excited to have it again. Maybe that's why they're so secret. I don't know. This is definitely crispier, like much crispier than all the other ones we've tried so far today. So maybe there's some secret in the cooking method. Maybe that's why we're not allowed to look. Let's see if the secret is worth it. It's pretty damn good. It's so crispy. You know the other ones are just straight bean sprout. So I don't want to say it's boring, but it's very predictable in the texture. This one just has so much different things going on. It's very full too. So this place has much smaller shell on shrimp, which I do like. When the shrimp are shell on, I prefer them to be smaller so the shell is thinner. So this is really good. So in comparison, it's about the same size as the 46A in terms of how big it is, but it's definitely thinner and lighter than 46A. It's not as light as Tansun, but it's very crispy. Interesting, they all are different. Oh, look at that, even the bottom, still crispy. All the other bunsao, by this time they would have been soggy. This one is still holding its texture. Huh. I have a few ideas. I was thinking maybe they cook a crepe first and then let it cool down completely and then put it in the pan and fry it and that's how they get it this crispy and that's why they don't want to show you. Because this almost, texturally this is almost like banchang nung, like you would get in Dala. It kind of has that texture so it makes me think that it was this is cooked twice where it's cooked once, cooled and then fried again, I'm not sure. I wonder, I have no idea. Oh, it's gotta tell you something if I'm on my third big bensail of the day and I'm still nibbling on this thing. That's a good sign. 
I changed my mind about them cooking a crepe first and then adding the toppings because the shrimp is cooked into it. So it had to be a liquid batter when the shrimp was added to it. So now I'm very intrigued of what the secret is. Now we maybe we gotta jump the fence and get back there one day. Very interesting. Well, that was fun. Which one was the best? That's a very good question. Honestly, we're looking at some of the most popular buns out in the entire city, so of course they're all good. If I have to pick a favorite, it's gonna be between the second and the third one. The second one is so delicate and kind of that traditional flavor. The third one, there's just so much going on, is super interesting and so crispy too. I think I like the third one the best, bye. Is burning my fingers. Okay. Ugh. No. <laughs> Never. Maybe one day. Oh God, I can't do it. You're ready. So that means I have to be ready. Now I perform. Oh no. Oh, no. What a disaster. Tang told me he needs more B-roll, so that means keep eating. Okay, I keep eating. All right, I feel like an idiot. I'm uh, a surprise. Though. Oh, good. Even better. I can't do this long. I can't do this long. Oh my god, there's a fly! Check out, subscribe, do all the stuff, like all this stuff. I don't even say bye.